Leo. What's poppin' Leo? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy here to bring you uh, a reading for March. Another reading for March 2021. I hope all is well with you guys. I want to thank you for the love and support you show the channel. Thank you so much for all you do, especially if you're returning. For those of you who are new, welcome. Uh, this is not a cookie cutter channel. Um, it's not going to be rainbows and sunshine all the time. Okay, I'm going to give it to you the way the cards are telling me. So, you know, if you get offended, you know, I'm just telling you ahead of time. You know, it's not one of those type of channels. Okay, so. And the reason I'm saying this is because I have people in the comments. Oh my God, it's so negative and. It's like, that's what the cards are saying, what the energy is. All I can do is read the energies. I clear the cards every time I do the reading, you know, um, so, and other people resonate with it. So because it's not your story, I have to tell you then just, you know, take a look at other, uh, take a look at other readings or look at your other placements, you know, it's important to do that. Every reading is not going to be directly towards you. And then for you to come into the comments and you know <laughs> get upset as if um you know this is a personal reading and you paid for this it's just really absurd to me but i'm just putting it out there so people have an understanding of what the comment section is for it's for you to talk about if the reading resonates okay so it's going to be general all right this is going to be about you and your person this could be someone you're currently dealing with or someone maybe you have dealt with in the past so you know past present future energies for some of you this could be energy that could happen in the future between you and your person so um we're just going to go ahead and put the cards out we're going to put four cards out for each side we have side a we have side b now feel free to choose whatever side resonates with you there that looks a little bit better feel free to choose whatever side resonates with you if you start off resonating with side a and then later on in the reading side b resonates with you Feel free to switch the energies up, back and forth, twist them around, do what you got to do with it, okay? My goal is to read the cards. It's not for me to figure out whose side you're on and which one you are. And if this is your ex, and is this my ex? Could it possibly be? Yes, it could possibly be your ex. So there's no need for you to, you know, um, misunderstand that in any way because this is a general reading, okay? So it could be anybody in your energy. This could be somebody you're dealing with. It doesn't even have to be you or your situation. This could be, um, you could be looking at this as a Leo Ascendant where you know people who are going through this, whether you know they're going through it or not, okay? So, um, the top two cards are going to represent how each person feels about the other person and the connection between the two of, of you. The two bottom cards represent the actions that each person has taken towards the other in the relationship or in the connection. All right. This could be a situationship. This could be a one night stand. This could be a, a long term relationship. It could be an on and off relationship. Then one minute it's a situationship. Then one minute y'all friends. It could be a marriage. It don't matter. Whatever type of connection where people are intimate and they're, you know what I'm saying, is what this is. So let's get it popping, Leo. The current energy for person A, the overall energy rather, is the Ace of Coins. The Ace of Coins. This is uh, Earth energy. So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so this has something to do with um, people's time, people's money, people's energy, um, or people's uh, loyalty, okay, or, or uh, physical uh, well-being. All right, so that's a positive energy because the ace brings blessings. All right, so for the uh, person A, we have Queen of Swords energy. This is Libra. And we have the star energy, which is Major Arcana of Aquarius, okay? The bottom cards here as far as the actions that person A is taking towards the connection or has taken towards the uh, connection is the Nine of Swords that came out in reverse. Now, that's Gemini energy. And then we have the five of coins that came out in reverse, which is Taurus energy. So as far as person A is concerned, how they feel about the connection with person B and how they feel about person B. We have the queen of swords and the star energy. I feel like um, it's an energy here that person A is feeling as if, okay, person B is the one that I want to invest time, energy, and effort to. I believe that, you know, we have a special connection. Um, I want us to take things to the next level. I believe that we can grow. I believe there's forward movement in this connection. I found the one. Like, I feel like with the Queen of Swords energy, this is feminine energy. This is how you feel on the inside, your emotions, your feelings, your intuition. When we look at Queen energy, 
Okay, so men and women could be feeling this. So a man or a woman could be feeling like, you know what, I want to express how I feel. You know, I want to express the truth of a matter or the facts on how I see it. I feel as if there's growth and there's potential here and I have faith in this connection. So the actions that person A has taken as a result of how they feel is the nine of swords reverse, the five of coin reverse. So with the nine of swords reverse, you know, with the nine of swords upright, this is someone who's stressed out or who thinks about something a lot or has something on their mind. It could be something as severe as, you know, giving you uh, nightmares, not allowing you to sleep. It could be something as minor as, okay, um, you know, I want to think about this a little bit further before I make a decision. It doesn't have to be heavy. But whatever it was, whatever the thought process was behind this person's feelings, um, they're not worried about it. They've come to a conclusion with the Nine of Swords in reverse. They've already thought about the situation and they've come up with how they feel. Okay. And so as a result, what they want to do with the Five of Coin in reverse is they want to come back to person A. Okay. Because the Five of Coin in reverse is returning to someone. Um, this could possibly be moving back in if you two were ever living together. Um, or maybe just this person wanting to come over to person B's home, okay, and speak to person B. Uh, this could be an energy of maybe this person might have been stressed out because the five of coins when it's upright and the nine of swords upright could be that somebody may have been stressed, really stressed out about a situation to the point maybe it brought um, anxiety, okay. Um, it could have maybe taken a toll on this person's health and maybe somebody was just in denial about how they felt about someone. OK, and someone's coming to the conclusion, you know what? I want this. Right. So let's talk about person B. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse as the overall energy for person B. Now, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, to me, that's the energy of someone not living with someone anymore. Um, me with the Ten of Pentacles versus the ten of, the ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is we're in a relationship. The Ten of Pentacles means we live together. Now, because you see the Ten of Pentacles doesn't mean that people are in love. It could mean that they're roommates. You know, I need help financially. You need help financially. We can move in together. We can help each other out. They could be on good terms. They don't have to be intimate. Um, so what I'm getting here with this Ten of Pentacles is that somebody moved out. And I feel that strongly because we have the Five of Coin in reverse, meaning somebody wanting to move back in. So I feel like this is what this person is focusing on. Part Person B is focused on the fact that um, person A no longer is in a connection with them. Pentacles could also represent loyalty, um, a bond, a friendship, a connection. And so I feel like what person B is looking at is that the connection, the bond uh, that we had, the friendship, the loyalty, the trust, um, the sincerity, the honesty. You know, the you, I got your back, you got mine, that type of energy, that energy has been broken is what I'm feeling here. Okay. Um, how person B feels as far as their feelings, we have the king, I'm sorry, the knight of swords that came out in reverse, Gemini energy. And then we also have the major arcana of the hermit, uh, which is mercury energy. Okay. So we have heavy mercury energy here. So this person is definitely in their thoughts about this situation. Um, and with the Knight of Swords in reverse energy, this could be that this person is not speaking about how they're feeling. They could have decided to move away from the situation, okay? Uh, actually uh, move away. This, this is person B. This is how person B is feeling about person A. So I feel like person B intentionally may have told a lie. I'm sorry, person B feels like person A may have intentionally told a lie. Or may have withheld some information or is not speaking to person B. And they isolated themselves or moved out. Here's another card about someone isolating themselves or moving away. Alright. So person B feels like person A moved out. Which I get here with the five of coin in reverse. Person B moved out and want to move back in. The actions person B um, took towards uh, this connection here is the magician in reverse. Mercury energy. And the ten of swords in reverse which is Gemini energy. So this is all mercury, mercurial energy, um, heavy Gemini energy. Uh, well, we got Virgo here too. So um, this could be somebody who has um, a, a, a ascendant sign, could be uh, Virgo. The sun sign could be Virgo. The mercury could be Virgo. Um, or the Venus could be Virgo. Or those same placements, they could be Gemini, okay, in your person. Um that you're dealing with, or you are the cross watcher, and you have these made, you have these placements. Um, 
but I really don't talk about that too much. But because we got such strong mercurial energy, I point that out. So the actions person B is taking, the magician in reverse, uh, the ten of swords reverse. This is heavy Gemini here. The magician in reverse is, uh, this could represent clouded vision. It doesn't always have to be something bad or negative or ill intent. Um, but I feel that it was in this case. I feel it was in t it was negative intent. And now um, with the ten of swords in reverse, this is somebody who may want to let bygones be bygones, who wants to apologize here. I feel the energy of both of you two wanting to work things out. Um, because the Ten of Swords is, okay, I, if you, the Ten of Swords is upright, it's like, okay, someone's been betrayed. But in reverse, it's like they, they let it go. You know? Um, I feel as though Person B feels that Person A did something intentionally. Um, but let's see. Let's get some clarity on this stuff and see what's going on here. So let's see. What's this Queen of Swords energy about? What's for person A? What's the Queen of Swords? Six of Swords in reverse. That's uh, Aquarius energy. All right, so Queen of Swords. So somebody um, wants to express how they feel, but with the Six of Swords in reverse here, um, they're not doing that. They may feel stuck. They may feel like they can't express how they feel. They may have a difficult time expressing how they feel. They may be... I don't get afraid. I get that there's, there's wording. It's about wording with the swords. It's about what are you going to say? How are you going to say this? Um, how do you how are you going to express your feelings so that this person understands what it is that you're truly feeling? You know, and someone is feeling stuck not being able to express themselves or say what it is that they truly want to say. Let's see what the star energy is about. Those are too many. What's the star energy about for person A? We have the Magician in Reverse, okay? Remember, the Magician in Reverse is over here for Person B as well. So with the star energy, it's like somebody um, somebody sees future growth or sees forward movement in a situation, but they feel like this person may have ill intentions, okay? Or they feel like, I feel an energy of cloudedness, clouded thought. But let's clarify these two cards and we'll move on here. So there's two ways we can look at this. It's like somebody is refusing to speak or someone just doesn't know what to say and how to say it. They have a problem expressing themselves. What's this Nine of Swords in reverse energy here for person A? We have the Ten of Wands. So yeah, this person is not, they're, they're tired of not being able to express themselves or not wanting they're tired of not being able to express themselves. They're tired of holding back. I feel like this person was holding back their feelings. What's the five of coins in reverse? Yeah, we have the four of coin in reverse. Yeah, see, um, this person's going to reveal things. Because, you know, with the four of coin upright, this is someone who's guarded, who's protected, who's keeping secrets, who's holding something back, who's not being open, okay, not being trustworthy. In reverse, this is someone who wants to let down their guard. They want to open up. They want to um, express how they feel. And this is what I feel like this person uh, wants to do, Okay. Um, yeah, we have the Four of Wands underneath the deck here. Remember, so we have the Ace of Coin as the overall energy and the Four of Wands. So you two could have been married, okay, and could have just had a spat of some sort and separated. Um, and now Person A wants to reconnect. It doesn't necessarily mean you were married. doesn't mean that you weren't. Um, it could be that this maybe this person now, if you weren't married, maybe they want to take things to the next level with you. Okay? doesn't necessarily mean they want to be married, but maybe they just want to move back in. So let's get the clarification going on with person B here. Person B here with the uh, Knight of Swords in reverse and the Hermit energy feels as if... Let's see. Let's, let's clarify first before we speak further on that. Knight of Swords reverse. How does person B feel about person A? Person B feels that person A is not speaking up with this Knight of Swords in reverse for sure. And they're holding back. They know they're holding back. Person B knows person A is holding back how they feel. Yeah, see, we got the Queen, I'm sorry, the King of Swords in reverse here clarifying the Knight of Swords. Double holding back, okay? Either they're holding back or they're, they're holding back because they don't know how to express themselves. Or they're trying to intentionally keep, they're trying to, I feel like whatever 
person okay let me just clarify this first before i speak on it because i'm getting ill vibes here now okay what's the hermit energy what's the hermit energy for person b and we have the knight of wands so yeah this is somebody going leaving coming by and leaving maybe or deciding that they want to move away from the situation what's the magician in reverse we have the uh, justice energy in reverse. So, yeah, somebody trying to do somebody wrong. All right, what's this ten of swords in reverse? That's what I was getting a vibe of, so I, but I wanted to make sure. So, we have the seven. Okay, the ten of swords reverse. Clarify with the seven of cups. All right, so let's take a look at this. Person B. How do they feel about person A? They feel like person A is holding back something or with, or hiding something. Okay. They could possibly feel like person B is trying to get over on them or take advantage of them in some way, shape, or form. Because that's what the king of swords in reverse could be. He could be someone who's very secretive and who doesn't express himself. Or he could be someone who's very cold, um, very callous. Um, someone who's coming in to do a job and there's no emotion involved. I don't care about this person's feelings. I don't care what they think. Um, or I do care what they think. I'm trying to maneuver how they think so that I can win. Um, and then we have the Hermit energy and the um, Knight of Wands. So, yeah, this person is going to come in. They feel like person A. Let's see. Okay. Person B feels like person A is coming in to do whatever it is they want to do, and then they're going to bounce on them. So the action person B took to protect themselves is the Magician in Reverse and the Justice energy in Reverse. Um, clarified with the Ten of Swords Reverse and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, see, person B is trying to figure out why is this person doing me dirty? What, what was, What's up? Or why is this person trying to do me dirty? Or I feel like this person is trying to do me dirty. So as a result, um, I'm going to let go of the situation here. Um, I feel like they try to let go of it, but then with the Seven of Cups here, it's just like, wait a minute, what's going on? Um, why do I feel this way? Oh, this person was doing A, B, C, and D. It's like you're letting go of all the things that this person did. You're forgiving person A. Now, person A, the way they feel about person B is they are holding back their feelings. Um, they want forward movement, but they don't want to express their feelings. They don't. This is somebody who doesn't deal with emotions well. So it's like they know that they have to speak up if they want a serious can like person B is not having it. It's like, no, you need to tell me how you feel. I need to know what's up. You're not going to just be around and not say anything. And no, nah, we're not having that. All right. Person B is kind of anxious because it's like, what's up with this person? Like, I don't understand what their motives are. I'm not understanding what they're thinking or doing or how they're thinking or doing it. All right, we're going to look at the top five cards for each, and then we'll go to the extended. So we have the Ten of Pentacles reverse, the Knight of Cups, the Fool, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Six of Cups, okay? So I feel like this is um, a karmic situation for sure, okay? Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles reverse here, this is somebody moving out, and with the Knight of Cups, somebody wanting an apology or an accepting apology and wanting to start over again with the Fool. So, yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, the Knight of Cups, and the Fool, this is somebody um, expecting an apology. Like, Person B wants an apology from Person A. I feel like they'll, um, for them not treating them right, or it could have been that they were two-timing them with someone else. Someone from their past with the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Cups. So, yeah. So, Person B is like, okay, you, you're you still dealing with someone from your past. Um, like, they weren't, Person A wasn't honest about it and so that's what person b's issue is so i feel like person a was dealing with someone from their past and left person b now let's just see what's going on with person a i'm sorry person yeah person b feels as if person a was dealing with someone from their past okay so we have the ace of coins the four of cups reversed the hierophant reversed the knight of swords and the eight of swords so with the eight with the ace of coins and the four of cups reverse and the hierophant reverse, I feel like person A is changing their mind about a relationship um, with person B. They could be married, but they're changing their mind about it. I feel like they want it. They want a marriage. They want a connection. But with the knight of swords and the eight of swords, they don't know how to say it. They don't know how to express themselves. This person is frustrated because they... Um, they're trying to figure out, 
they love person A loves person B. They want to reconnect and reunite with person B. They know they treated person B bad and they were two-time in person B. Um, yeah, see, they were definitely messing around. Person B, person A was definitely messing around. Person A had a lot of people attracted to them, okay? Um, this could have been somebody from their past, but um, that's what the problem is. So person B is pissed off because person A is still dealing with someone from their past. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the extended. We're going to clarify a little bit more of this. We're going to also ask how does each feel about the other, okay? We're going to find out what actions each will take towards one another. If somebody's dealing with someone else, we're going to find out the nature of that relationship. And then we're going to find out what the outcome would be between these two. So if this is resonating, let me know by clicking the like button. If you want to leave a comment about how it resonates, feel free to do so. The link to the extended is in the box below. If you need a personal read, that information is in the box below as well. Hopefully I'll see you at the extended. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out, Leo.